It's your faithful narrator coming to you live from Kanagawa, Japan, Machida. So what I want to talk to you today about was my addictions. I don't think I'm white knuckling it. In fact, I think not drinking or doing something I want to do would be white knuckling it. I know, and this will probably be the last time we talk about it because the person that, you know, what's the Shakespeare quote about? I think she doth protest too much. If I say I'm not an alcoholic too many times, it makes me sound like more of an alcoholic. But I'm not an alcoholic. I have problems with all sorts of addiction, as I think all of us do. But more so than that, what my real problem is, what my real problem is with life and not being satisfied with it. Watched an episode of South Park yesterday. And they explained it quite nicely. Or at least to my liking. I think the reason why I drink so much or use things is to make me okay with my life. Have you ever heard about this experiment they ran with with mice? They put them in um, in a playground. Oh no, sorry, sorry. They gave mice cocaine and water and all the mice had to do was tap it and they could, you know, get a shot of the cocaine. And I don't, again, you know, this is kind of like secondhand stuff. I've, you know, never really looked this up. But apparently all the mice would drink the water until they died. That's all they did. They, you know, but then they redid this test and they gave them the mice like a great playground, uh, females, you know, stuff of interest. And they would try the cocaine and then they would, you know, eventually stop it. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to find satisfaction with where I'm at in life and just be comfortable enjoying the smaller things, like enjoying the fact that I go home and you know, I'm, I'm doing the hard things. You know? It's much more easier to enjoy a beer and watch South Park. A few beers. But that's not what I want to do. I got to find satisfaction find satisfaction in my willpower, I guess, I don't know. I do know, I can't explain the words for it, but. Anyways, last thing I wanna talk about before I get on my day here, we're gonna go have some massages. I'll do a little work tonight on my, on my thing. And hopefully next time I can talk to you about what I've been working on. Oh, uh, what's in my box? But, uh, what's in the box? My problems with addiction, and I think why there's a lot of confusion and kind of maybe even shame, possibly, is, um, and you know, I don't know how to say this properly either without offending people, but you know, my parents. I grew up in a household where both my parents are confessed alcoholics and drug users and never touch the substances again. And that to me is white knuckling it. I would like to have the opportunity to get stoned with my parents, have a drink with my parents, you know, break down some of these walls that we have between us and, you know, get a little looser, you know, with life. 
I'm not blaming them. Uh, you know, I'm a man. I got my own thing. But I don't want to be like that. So, anyway, so this is the last time we're talking about it. But even on the days I drink, you know, I might just have this one beer. I've been, you know, I don't know. Something in me has changed. It's like, you know, the grains of sand. Eventually, or drops of water. If you keep putting them in a cup, eventually the cup overflows. And, you know, that's just where I'm at. Something in me has fundamentally changed. So, I'm gonna leave. And uh, we're gonna get on with our day. All right, bye. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> eh? That's you. That's you.